Wales, a land of lush rolling hills, steeped in Celtic mythology, famed for the dragon, song and history. But what you didn't know is it's one of the UK's hotspots for paranormal activity. And seeing as it's Halloween, ITV2 have tasked one man to investigate the ghostly wonders of Wales. <coughs> Joey Essex. There's friendly ghosts. Um, there are poltergeists. There's exorcists. And there's... the animals. <laughs> Scaredy Cat Joey has already had terrifying encounters all over the world. Oh. Uh, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. From the monkeys of Africa. Oh, it bite me. And the favelas of Brazil. Oh, oh. To the terror of space travel. Oh, oh. Joey's paranormal adventure begins in the Welsh valleys. Oh. Were you in another country then, or not? No, where well, you're in Wales. It's another country, though, isn't it? Oh. I can't wait to go back to Essex and ends at a terrifying haunted castle. Will he get possessed? Am I getting fat? Will he see a ghost? Oh my God, let's get out. I was petrified down there. Get out. And will we manage to educate Joey Essex? We doing praying. I'm getting a tan. This is gonna be one of my toughies. Toughest? Is it tough? It's really toughest or toughest? Is it tough? Tough, yeah? That's it. Toughest, yeah? Toughest. Toughest? Toughest. That's right. This is going to be one of my difficultest. Can I say, can I say difficultest? No, you can. Is that a word? No. It's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. I'm definitely t facing it. I'm ist, whatever it's called. Before Joey can face, sorry, face his fears this Halloween, he'll first need to find his suitcase. If you can't handle the shed, how are you going to handle ghost hunting, Joe? It does seem a bit lonely and scary still. Like, I wouldn't want to be here in it at night. Go and go right to the back. I'll try and find a light switch. Look, you, if, you, if, you, if you was in here right now, you can't say she's not scary. Look at the place, look. Well, it's dark in there, isn't it? Come on, I want to go for a walk. He's come around to see me. He's just go for, take the dog for a walk. Don tries to toughen Joey up. Dad, I'm not, I'm not going in there. Come on! With a late night walk into the woods. Allegedly the haunting ground of murder victims, the forest of Essex are scary enough. Come on, be silly. Let alone with Don in a crabby mood. It's nice, Joe. It's a, it's a nice place to go take the dog for a walk. A bit late at night, that's all right. Dad, I don't, I just want to go home. I'll let Ralphie off. Don't let him off, Dad. It's all right. This is well scary in here, isn't it? If we was quiet, you'd hear all, all, all spooky noises. I don't like, like doing things like this. It just scares me. It's, like, it's pointless as well, isn't it? Well, where's the dog gone? I don't know. I'll oh, leave off. Go find him, Dad. Right. You, go, you stay here. I'm going to try and find him. I'll be back in two minutes. Well, then you've lost him. It's pitch black here, Dad. Hold on. Ralphie! For God's sake, what is he doing, man? Has he done this on purpose, Drekken? Because he's a liberty. Because I'm getting scared now. That's the idea. Dad! Dad! So long, mate. Now it's freaking me out. Dad! 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 I think he's gone, Joey. And you better get yourself home too, as tomorrow your paranormal education begins. In the less than scary cathedral city of Hereford. Please mind the gap between Joey Essex and Wales. <laughs> Sick. Wow, this is proper nice, isn't it? Wows. Wows. You're still in England, Joey. Let's hope you know more about ghosts than you do geography. I don't even know if they are he or she. They're just ghosts, aren't they? They don't even have anything down there. They just... nothing. They don't go to the toilet. They just hover about. Hello, mate. Um, I need to go to somewhere called, um... Way on Y. Why? why? It's, it begin, the end of it begins with Y. Wire? No, the end of it begins with a Y. Oh, right. A on Y. That's it. A on Y. Well, what, what's your name? Ron. 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 That's a good name. My name's Joey Essex. Well, after dispensing with the pleasantries, Joey's keen to learn, so he tries to glean some local knowledge from Ron. Um, why is Well so well known for being haunted? I don't know, mate. You're probably better off asking somebody from Wales. In Wales. What do you mean? I thought we, I thought, where are we now? I thought we was in Wales. We're in England, mate. 
What? I mean we're in England. <laughs> we're in Hereford, in England. And I'm dropping you in Hay on Wye in Wales. Do you miss geography the day at school or what? No, I didn't take it, didn't take uh, geography with GCSE, but I took I took not Wales. Ah oh, right. I took a uh, drama with tech, art, and curriculum support. I took everything that you didn't have to actually think. <laughs> 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 I sat there with my dad and I thought, what do, you, what do you not have to think in? So curriculum support was um, to catch up your uh, work that you wasn't doing anyway. Art, you just had to draw paintings and draw. And wood tech, you just had to make wood. So I thought, sweet. Got an easy life, haven't I? And now look at me. I mean, Wales, mate, ghost hunting. <laughs> well, not yet, Joey. You'll need the help of your ghost hunting guide who's waiting for you at the Welsh border town of Hay on Wye. Oh, God, it looks like someone at the Matrix. Serious. Oh, I'm already scared. Um, suck it out. Hi, oh, mate. Hiya, Joey. How are you? Croissai Gamri. You what? Welcome to Wales. Christo oh, is that what it means? Christo i Gamri. Christ they know you, Gay Ryan. My name is Gay Ryan. Christo i Gamri. Come Gamri. Yeah, it's, it's close enough. Were well, you in another country then, or not? No, where well, you're in Wales. It's another country, though, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, it's a part of Great Britain, but it's, it's called Wales. Do I have to turn my roaming off, like my 3G or my phone? Uh, is it <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. so that's fine? It's fine, yeah. Are we in England? But we're in Wales as well. Eh? Now I'm confused. It's so confusing. You'll work it out. So what, so episode that's for instance, that says Hay on Wee, Tower Hay on Wee, yes. Why Jelly? What are you looking at? Why Jelly? Are you looking at the top bit? No, no, it says Why Jelly. Why? Where are you looking at? No, why? Oh, uh, get the, uh, get the, it says uh, get the. No, it says Why Jelly? No, it's, you've got to spell it in Welsh, so it's get the. What get the? Get the. G. G. Get the. E. Oh, you got it. Yes, 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 yes. I'll never get it. I, either I, I can just about say Ulla or Bonjour or Gracias. You know what I mean, I'm going to start saying all that. All that. <laughs> um, so are you, are you actually serious? You're a ghost hunter? Are you joking? I am seriously a ghost hunter. What, you, you, got, you hunt ghosts? I hunt ghosts. I'm a paranormal investigator. In a way? Yeah. What? What, so you've seen a ghost throw a chair at someone? I've talked to a ghost, yeah. No, you haven't. I have. That's ridiculous. You're not worried about it, yeah? Yeah, the only scary thing I'm probably scared about, yeah, is if I'm, cause I'm probably scared about maybe like some sort of ghost getting inside of me, do you know what I mean? Uh, you, uh, you mean being uh, possessed? Yeah, being possessed. It's never happened to me. Could happen to me? I use protection. Protection? I, I'll teach you how to do it. Are we still talking ghosts here? Oh my god, this is sick. Do you want to see a ghost and go then? I'm ready when you are. Come on, let's go. Let's get the car. This is proper exciting. Do you know how excited I'm about this? Wow. I think Joey is a really nice guy. I think he's, we're going to have a bit of fun, to be honest, yeah? Oh, this, is probably, this is probably one of the most exciting experiences I think I'm ever going to have in my life. I mean, I've done a lot of things, but this is, like, proper, I'm proper excited about it. So Geraint whisks Joey off in his customised hearse for his first taste of the paranormal, and he's being thrown straight in the deep end with an overnight stay in one of Wales' oldest and most haunted inns. Yeah. Okay, Joey. This is a haunted pub. It's called the Skirid Mountain Inn. The Skirid Inn dates back to the 15th century, a former courthouse where nearly 200 people met a grisly end on the hangman's noose. Bloody hell. It's dead quiet in here, isn't it? Yeah, but there's... Uh... There are spirits here, and I don't mean the ones being the bar. Oh, go right. Stick to the ghost hunting. It's just the two of us going to be in here. We might get some in. It's long, though, mate. I can't bother all that, waking up in the middle of the night, screaming and that. Do you know what it is? I just don't really fancy being in my own room, seeing a ghost by myself. I just don't want that happening. Maybe with you, I don't mind, but by myself, I don't want it. OK, so shall we do the tour first, and i show you where everything is? All right, yeah. Sick Wi-Fi down here, bruv. Right, this is this is the beginning, OK? You see the rope hanging up there? What the hell is that? We're not sure whether they used to take you up there, Bobby, 
they put this rope around your neck, and then they just throw you over the side. And then you'd be hanging there, choking to death, till your eyes were bulging and your tongue came out of your mouth. Just kill him like that? Yeah. I don't really want to sleep here. I, to be fair, I don't, don't think I'll be able to handle it. Before they bed down for the night, Geraint wants to introduce Joey to the spirits of the Skirid Inn through local medium Lynn Caddick, famous the world over for her psychic predictions and trademark wet perm. This is a very, very haunted place. If it's, if it was it being haunted? Well, I was possessed here back what? in 2010. Yeah and my face actually changed. The top photograph, it's when they were just starting to manifest. What? Can you see it? Lynn went through a phenomenon called transfiguration, where the spirit taking over supposedly changed her face. Wait, can I ask some questions, quickly? Is anyone, honestly, be honest with me, is anyone get possessed? Tell me the truth. Oh, your face is changing now. Don't say that. Oh, Sorry, uh, I just... Oh, my God. Am I getting fat? No, no, you, your face just changed, just slightly, OK? Oh, my God. It's gone. You're very open to spirit. Oh, um, yeah. You're very, very open to spirit, very susceptible to spirit. Uh, he needs to learn how to channel his gift, because he does have a gift, most definitely, yes. He's very open. Is there a ghost anywhere near me now? Probably shivery. Between the both of you there, there's a very, very tall gentleman. I feel um, he would have passed way before his time. Why is he talking about Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson in the room. <laughs> Jackie knows who I am. Bound to, isn't he? The first thing question will come into my head was, is he better at moonwalking now he's a spirit? Nothing's going to harm you here tonight. You may get the odd knock, or the, or the odd creak, or the odd bump, or the, op or the odd door open and closing, but that's it. So don't be frightened. Nothing here to, to harm you. It's last orders in Wales' most haunted pub. And Joey's getting the jitters. Hello, then. Oh, my God, it's so freaky, man. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go up there and just maybe try and lay in the bed for a bit, but... I'm going to set up a little camera as well. <laughs> just in case anything happens, I'm going to set up a little camera so we get it all on camera. Because I don't just, I'm not going up there and getting no credit for this. Do you know what I mean? I might as well go sleep in a hotel down the road. Joey Essex, sleeping in a haunted pub in the middle of nowhere. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> After nearly two hours, Jumpy Joey is finally asleep. Joey, spooked by a bump in the night, makes off for a local hotel. His ream Halloween has well and truly begun. I reckon there's, like, like, ghost fish. Joey Essex is in Wales, learning to face his fears on a terrifying ghostly adventure. If they do slime me, I know they're going to slime my hair. And I've insured it for a million pounds. There's no way that I can be slimed. Well, no need to file a claim for last night. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm, I'm not standing no more. I'm going. Last night was terrifying. I don't know why Gerard has stayed in that place. How can anyone stay in such a weird place to skid mark in. It's terrifying in there, mate. There you go. So did something happen to you, did it? I don't know. I, was, I think there might have been a portal guy in my room, yeah. But well, there was something in my room. It weren't, it weren't, there, it weren't, there weren't nothing in my room. Tell me all about it. Oh. But Joey wasn't the only one to have a spooky experience last night, as Garant used some of his ghost equipment to contact the spirits of the inn. You ready for this? 
Well, and this is what happened. Can you tell me? At the end of the road, turn left. She was talking over him. Hang on. We just want to communicate with you. Right turn ahead. <laughs> we play it now. I'm going to. What a liberty, mate. She is. She oh, honestly, sweet, 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 please, honestly, girl. Are you ready? Please, shh, for two seconds. Can you tell me, are you with us? Do you mean us harm? We just want to communicate with you. No. You ready? Did you hear that? You heard that, didn't you? He went, no. He went, no. He went, no. He's freaking out, look, getting all hair stand up. It's too scary for me. Joey's been in Wales for 24 hours, and already he's learned it's not abroad. He stayed in its most haunted pub, and he's even met Michael Jackson, sort of. But no Halloween is complete without a real-life witch. Because she's in the woods, OK? We're going to have to go on horseback, because it's a long way, and I, you don't fancy walking. Geraint and Joey are meeting the witch deep in the Pembry Forest, an enchanted woodland where human activity dates back to 400 BC, and the best way to get there is along the coast. I didn't actually realise how lovely, like, I mean, obviously I've never really been well. It's lovely here. Like, that's amazing, that view, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I feel like I'm in Dubai. So like, if, this, if this was the beach was in Dubai, it'd be like being in Dubai. Is that a jellyfish? Yeah, they sting. Wow. They're literally all over the beach. It's like jelly, isn't it? It's like it is, yeah. They're see-through, aren't they? That's my favourite colour. See-through? Yeah. Goes with everything. Yo, Joey, the horses are over there, look. Oh, yeah. I want one with a black saddle. Why? Because I'm wearing black. So am I. You know, but I'm light into fashion, aren't I? Can you look at me in the eyes? And I... Relax, Joe. It's just a horse. It seems to me it's not there. After kidding up in the latest bridal fashion... Yeah, I feel sick, mate. Proper fusing, mate. Joey mounts his steed. <laughs> ah! Well, I was proper scared because he's going to fall off. Ah! Not to shout. Sorry. Yeah, be careful, Joe. You might frighten the horse. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, oh, yeah, this horse just farted, man. <laughs> Did you hear that? Well, right, Grant, you know, we, I rem we, I'll remind ourselves of. What? We're like Black Knights. So the Black Knights of Hrenetli set off on their mythical quest to the Witch of the Welsh Woods. Ah! Oh, I'm falling off! Oh, my God! That was a joke. Go left, go left. Go left, yeah. Wow. You don't even need, you don't even need indicators. No. It's good, isn't it? So, Joey, what are you going to ask us? Which? I would love to be... I'd love to get, like, a potion that you could drink in it. You'd, you'd be able to be really clever, like A stars and that. Oh, I think you're all right as you are, anyway. After trekking for an hour, they arrive at the mystical meeting point. We're meeting the witch in the car park over there. The car park? Trust me. Oh, really? Alison Belden-Smith is a practising pagan witch and is renowned throughout Wales for her potent Celtic spells. She also does a mean Scotch egg. So do, you, uh, do you actually drive around on broomsticks and fly around them? No, no, we don't. No, Joey, these days they drive three-door hatchbacks. So witches do this a lot, walks like this? We, we, uh, seasonally, we collect all the things we will need for our spell work. Last month, I collected bluebells. Bluebells? Fl bluebell flies? What are you talking about? Blue bottle jelly. Flowers? Bluebells are flies. Wild flowers. I thought you meant flyers. I thought you meant flyers. So, Alison, Geraint and Joey settle down for a witch's picnic. Do you have in mind any particular spells that you feel that might help you with life? Oh, what about a uh, clever potion? To be as, as good as you can possibly be, yes. I already you take some, I already take a formula. It's like fish oil tablets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with you through each of the ingredients so that you understand why I'm putting them in there and what they're going to do for you. OK, here we have three acorns. Acorn is for protection. She makes potions with people, like... It's like making a stew in it. It's like having, cup, like, a cup of soup or something. Three hazelnuts so that you will acquire wisdom. One, two, three. The last most important ingredient. Eye of a newt? Yes, I need to snip a lock of your hair. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. You have to have a lock of your hair. Is it got to be a tiny bit? 
bit like this, right? Can't be that much. Oh, for goodness sake. You're missing it. No, he's there. Well, have I got to drink That's this? It. No, you don't have to drink it. Oh, goodness, if you drank this, it would kill you. Here we are, in it goes. In. That's you. Now that spell is charged and ready, and it's your spell. Push the cork right in. Does it look short, though? Does it, honestly, does it, does it? Joey. Is it ruined? Shh. Listen yeah. to what she's You're saying. You're going to address the spirits. What's your full name? Joey Don Essex. So this is now the spell primed and working for Joey Don Essex to be the best that he can be. This is the thing that will educate me. I mean, apparently this is meant to educate me. This is meant to make me more powerful and clever and best I can be. So this is the education. Do not open it. I'll keep that forever. Well, you keep it forever? Yes, it will continue sending that energy to you forevermore. So I don't want to keep cutting the air. <laughs> the energies put within the spell are, are all primed and ready to engender the potentiality that is there. Well, if there's anyone who needs their potentiality engendered, it's Joey Essex. Later. Glad you're learning, Joey, but perhaps you should have asked for a bravery potion, as tonight, Geraint the Ghost Hunter is driving you back to his. This is your living room, yeah? Yeah. As a renowned ghost hunter of 20 years, Geraint has picked up a few supernatural artifacts along the way. What the hell? You've arrived. Come right in. This is the coffin. Yeah, I like to see it, yeah. You like that? Yeah? It's all right, yeah. Do you want me to take the lid off? If you want to do it, what's in there? It's Victorian, it is. It's very old. It's got wooden handles and it's solid. Oh, yeah, go in, go in. It's okay. It's not as bad as being in the skillet, is it? Come on, oh, get in. Oh, man, I'm not getting in. I can't get in that. Come on, get in and have a go. Go on. That's that safe. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Face your fears, Joey. Okay, you're in now. That's it, you're in. Oh, yeah, you definitely look like a corpse, yeah. What's a corpse? A dead body. Why does it call it a dead body? Well, they're dead, aren't they? Then why a corpse? Well, that's why they call them a corpse. What, they call a dead body a corpse? Yeah, they do, yeah. Do you know what I'd hate to be in like, one of these here, yeah, but then be well far underground? What, like a corpse? If you want to know what it really feels like, yeah. put your head back and I'll put the lid down. Don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no you'll be okay, no. Trust me. You trust but me, don't you? Honestly, guys, this safe, seriously. Well, stay there, well, stay there. Honestly, please don't, because if don't lock it, don't lock this. Seriously, don't, because it's out of order. What's it feel like? What? What's it feel like in there? Uncomfortable, what I get. I don't want to be in here. Somebody's tapping outside the shop. Oh, shut up. <laughs> get out of here, man. What do you mean to tell you something? What? Only three people have ever got in there. What, a lot of people? They, they refuse point blank. It's jokes. Be brave. Yeah, I'm brave, see? Come upstairs, I got something to show you. So brave. Well, you haven't seen what's lurking in Geraint's bedroom yet. What are these snakes? Yeah. Do you want to handle some of these? What? Some of the snakes. Come Just on. tell me the honest truth. Does, it, does, that, does that bite? Well, it can, have... but you know, she's okay. She's fine. Come on, come and hold her. What, what is she, a girl? She's a girl, yeah. Had, where, have, they got, have they got private parts? Have they got? Have they got? Private parts? Yeah. Yeah, let me show you where. Yeah. OK. Snakes have got what's called a colaca. Well, it's sick it out, mate. See there? She's OK, man, look. Can it bite, honestly? No. They can bite, because I know they bite. Look. Come on. Get her on your shoulders. She's heavy, right? She's quite heavy. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you sometimes just lay it in peace and just put it around your neck? No, no, I do leave them out. I leave them out. I give them a bath nearly every day. A I'm bath? Waiting. Yeah, we put them in the bath. The only problem is, is they defecate in your bath sometimes. You what? They have a shit in the bath. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah they do, yeah, yeah they do. Well, look, he's strangling me, he's strangling me. No, it's not. Ah! Ah! Don't drop. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right, I tell you what. I'm so do, sorry. Do you want to try and feed them? Once a week, Geraint satisfies his serpents with a snack. And on tonight's menu, dead stuff. Oh, my, right, it's no, just disgusting, man. Let's see how fast she is. Oh, my God. When you feed Nauticus, that's what, mate, oh, mate, That is so dangerous, man. That could do that to you. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to lie, Grant. This is an experience, mate. But, I mean, it is good, uh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Joey now attempts to feed Nauticus, a three-metre-long Indian rock python. It's imperative he presents the rodent in the most enticing manner. That's a, that's a male rat, see? He's got testicles. He's got a rat on the balls, mate, look. What a libby! Oh! Hold it there, hold it there. We got it? Oh, what a libby! Go on. 
Hold, Joey, hold. Oh, yeah. oh! Right, leave it go. Oh. Was that good or bad? That was good. That was good. You panicked a bit there, though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> he's, you know what? He's a proper nice fella. He's like, down to earth. He's nice, but he's mad. Look. Look that noise, mate. Can you hear that? That's just, this, this, is what, this is what I'm exactly trying to say. I don't even know what that was, but that's probably his ass phone. I just think it's crazy, isn't it? Don't you think? That's the sound of the funeral march, Joey. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Joey Essex is being educated in the supernatural. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a cramp one. Oh, my God. And paranormal wonders of Wales. What, bro, what? I might have seen a ghost, but it was see-through, so I probably didn't see it. Seeing is believing. And today, Joey can feast his eyes on Snowdonia National Park. Geraint is taking him to explore the myths of legendary mountain Cadda Idris to toughen him up for a ghostly fright fest at the end of the week. So this legend, yeah, so what, 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 Adan, why is it so legendary? You know, he says that you either wake up a, a madman or a poet. Yeah. But there's other things being seen up here as well, see? Like what? Well, strange lights. What, lampposts? Lampposts? Not quite, Joey. Cada Idris, also known as Arthur's Chair, is over 2,000 feet high, and Welsh legend has it that if you can survive a night on the slopes of this peculiar peak, you'll wake up either mad or you'll become a poet. But with a three-hour drive ahead of them, and without any phone reception or travel suites, it seems Joey's getting mad already. You need to open the gate, Joey. Uh, so long. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Joey, there's, there's another gate. This is long, mate. It's the second gate we've got to. Can't you get out and do it for some? No, you've got to do it. You're meant to be taking me on this journey. I'm doing everything for you. I'm like a slave. <laughs> so, me and Granty boy are in the car. Grant, say hello. Hello. And, um, one more third gate. Pretty long, isn't it? Geraint may be many things, but a mountaineer, he is not. So to explore their next frightening phenomenon, he's called in the help of the Marines. Well, one of them, anyway. So have you ever, ever used the map before? I've used the map on my phone. Worryingly, Matt has put Joey in charge of getting to their campsite. But with no phone signal, he's got to navigate the old-fashioned way. N? Um, North Pole. North? Essex. So... North Pole, Essex. South London. South London. And Woolworths. W Woolworths. I've come to the top of this hill with Grant. Maybe you might get some sort of poetry feeling up there, so you probably do become a better poet, I don't know. And maybe he might start going crazy because he's so high up in amplitude, I don't know. In what? Anyway, Joey, Matt and Geraint set off across the valley. Oh, look, there's a little rabbit, there's a little slug. <laughs> Stay focused, Joey. In terms of education, I'm learning how to use one of these guys, on these little maps. So I've actually got, got this right, haven't I? Yeah. Cool. Well, after about 20 minutes of learning, I've actually caught on what you have to do. That's pointing north, that way, yeah? And that's pointing south over there. So if I was going to go north... I don't know where I'd go. Well, behind you, presumably. I don't know where I'd go. I can't wait to get back to Essex. Essex is the other way. Uh. To reach the campsite before dark, the group must cross the Nantcada Valley, supposedly the hunting ground of the Celtic Lord of the Underworld, where death came to anyone who heard his mysterious howling dogs. These days, the biggest threat is crossing the river, so Matt's asked two of his platoon for a hand. Brilliant, mate. No way. What am yeah. I going to do, mate? I can't go through that. What am I going to do? I'm going to put harness on you, give you a helmet. Uh, watch your hair, you don't want to get that messed up. No, oh, that's what I'm looking out for. So Rich here is going to give us a demonstration of the easy way to get across here. Rich, off you go. What the hell? You ready? I can't go and do that. Hey, can you? Can. No, come on, Joey. Put my man bag on. <laughs> Take your man bag off. Joey opts to keep both him and his man bag dry and goes for the slower option. 
That's it, you're I'm there. Not, I'm, 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 my hands. Let don't let go. Let go. Let go. No, don't. Let go. Wait two seconds. Don't let go, please. I'm not, mate. Look, I've got my man bag on as well. Your man, your man bag. I ain't going to go in the water, am I? No. You promise? I promise you're not going in the water. God's sake. That's it. That's it. You're you good? You good? Push. What the fuck is going on? There we are. Oh, go on, lad. Oh, what do you mean? What am I doing? Am I doing it right? Man. Yeah, he's got it. Pull me hands. Pull yourself along. Oh. Pull yourself along. Oh, I'll come back. No. I need to go away. I can't bring you back up, mate. <laughs> oh. 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 Wait. Wait. Oh. Mind the man bag. Yes. Hey. Go. Woo. With Geraint across the canyon in half the time. Well done, my man. Well done. The boys cross over into the campsite. So, what we're going to do, we're going to quickly throw a percent and literally take us five minutes. There are too much flies in my face, man. Come on, Joey, put the pegs in. So you can get rid of the... Come on, mate, the quicker we do this, the less go... midges there are. Joey quickly realises there are even less midges in a half-built tent. Oh, mate, this is so... Long <sighs> Leaving the marine to pick up the slack. You're right now, you two. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. You're not struggling or anything. Nah. As night falls over the mythical mountain, Geraint gathers the group around the fire for some of his terrifying ghost stories. So we're all around this campfire, we're sitting down, and all of a sudden we see this green. Are you listening? Sorry. We see this green glimmer come in. The road. A green what limo? No, a green light. Oh. All of a sudden, we could see this coach coming towards the tent and the horses, and it just goes crash into the tent and just disappears. And when we got up in the morning, you could see the imprint of the horses around the tent. Oh, tent. they're footprints. You could see the footprints all around the tent that morning. Maybe it was a dog. Dogs don't have hooves, Joey. But after rubbishing Geraint's story, what exactly does Joey believe himself? I believe that this is the, this is a chapter, yeah. So next one you got to say, like Crash Bandicoot." <laughs> nope, I have no idea what he's talking about either. Joey's next challenge is to bed down and brave a night on the mountain. But will he wake up mad, like the legend says? Tell you what, fancy skinny dipping? Seems Geraint's halfway there already. Oh, you mad, mate? I'm not going skin dipping. Yeah, you are. Come I'm on. Not. No, come on, come on, no Joey. No way, I'm going skin dipping. No, Joey, Run. come on, come on. Trust me. Joey Essex is being educated in the paranormal weirdness of Wales. Ah! He and his guide Geraint are journeying ever closer to their final destination, Wales' most haunted castle. <coughs> Last night, Joey and his ghost hunting guru camped on the mountain Cader Idris to see if the Welsh legend is true that you'll either wake up a madman or a poet. I've just woke up. It's seven in the morning. And I've got this madman lying next to me, look. It seems Joey's already made up his mind about Geraint, calling him the madman. But the only thing calling Joey right now is nature. After filling his bucket, Joey is clearly lighter on his feet. Oh, oh. You pick it up. The question is, Joey, are you mad or are you a poet? I wrote a poet last night. You did? Yep. Oh, well done. Am I going mad or am I a poet? I don't believe in spirits. I just know it. Come to Wales, but I ain't seen any Wales. Everywhere I go, the internet fails. I'll take my man bag everywhere I go. Man bag for life. I'll never let you go. Seen a medium, a witch, fairies and snake. Going everywhere with Grant. He's been a Welsh mate. If I see a ghost, I won't start praying. I'll just look straight at it and say, what are you saying? <laughs> That's good. Tell you what, shall we go skinny dip then? No. Yeah, let's go. No. Come on, one. yeah, come just on. Yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> no. After that slightly scary experience, it's finally time for Joe to encounter something truly terrifying. He's travelling to Wales's most haunted castle. Often called Land of Castles, Wales was once home to over 400 medieval forts. And with over 100 still in existence today, Geraint is taking Joey to the notorious Boddle Witham, where tonight Joey will experience his first ever 
and possibly last ever Welsh ghost hunt. Wow, this is sick. Mike, yeah? Mike, you right? Oh, yeah. Joey? How are you, Mike? Good, yeah? Good. How are you? Yeah, right. Good. Um, have you got Wi-Fi? Yeah. Sick. Built in 1460, Boddle Within is a paranormal terror zone. Ooh, very, very like, echoey. Used as a war hospital and with human remains discovered in the walls, this place is allegedly home to several resident phantoms, including the spirit of a small girl who haunts the cellar. But the only thing Joey's scared about is his hair. I should have got some gel, man. Joey! Sorry. Before they go on their ghost hunt tonight, Geraint gathers together his specialist equipment. Satin boss. Are you ready for Satin boss man? Tonight? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. This is some of the stuff we're gonna use, okay? Right. These are night vision goggles, okay? So you can see in the dark. Don't Whoa. look in the sunlight with them. Yes. Yeah, you go blind. Right, are you ready? <laughs> Joey! Wait, wait. Two seconds, two seconds. Oh my god, they're sick, aren't they? We have to do it seriously. We can't just do it as a laugh. We, we, when you do an investigation, it's got to be done properly and everything has to be spot on. This is the pendulum, OK, Joey? Is Listen. your name Joey? Watch now, carefully watch. It'll go clockwise if your name is Joey. I can see you moving your hand. <laughs> I think if, if we get activity, he might start to take it seriously. There's one or two things. He'll either run out of the building or he'll stay in there with me and, and be really frightened. <laughs> As night falls over this ancient castle, it's almost time for the ghost hunt to begin. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's hard to, to say that we're definitely going to see a ghost, because they do say sometimes you see ghosts, sometimes... Ghosts or ghosts? Sometimes you see ghosts, sometimes you don't. Don't? Eh? <laughs> what? As Joey struggles to speak, the cameraman gets spooked too. There's something moving about there. Shut up. As the clock strikes midnight, Geraint and Joey kit up. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. And set off in search of the castle spooks. Everybody in! What are you talking, are you talking to? Geraint begins his paranormal investigation by setting up his state-of-the-art beam breakers. Any spirit that crosses this doorway will trigger an alarm. Jesus! Or any novice ghost hunters from Essex. I've got a hiccup so bad, man. Does it mean anything? Yeah, no. Maybe I've got so scared of hiccups, maybe I'll... I'm, I'm picking something up. I'm getting the voice. That's what that is. Is it strange? That's me. No, no, no. Something is telling me something in my ear. Get Joey to hold his breath. Oh, my God! Don't do that to me. Some, no, no, I'll just say something. I'll just yeah, say well, something, well, man. Well, I'll just well, say yeah, something. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, give me out of here. I want to get out. Joey swears he's seen one of the resident ghosts, a soldier who appears as a shadowy apparition. I can't believe that, mate. I can't Joe, believe come it. Come with me, Joe. I can't believe it. Calm down, boy. We'll be yeah, okay. I don't, I don't want to see you. Come over here. Come on, Joey. It's just a little hiccup. <laughs> Geraint's next move is to place two trigger objects on the table to detect movement. We're gonna ask the spirit to move them. Okay, go on then, Joe. Give it a go. If there's a spirit in the room of us, will you move Grant's two balls? Joey. Oh, let's do it again. If there's a spirit in the room of us, can you move my two balls, please, on the table? I'll see it. I'll see it. Go on, then. Okay. Spirit, there are two balls. <laughs> 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 Well, that's wrecked the spooky atmosphere. So Geraint decides to up the ante using his EMF, or electromagnetic field meter, that lights up in the presence of ghosts. His assistant records the room with his special EVP machine, or dictaphone. EVP session one, Bordeaux and Castle. If you can affect your in some way. Shut up. No, so I just ask them. What do you mean, affect me? Well, you know, touch you or something. No, don't, no, don't touch me. No! Don't! I don't like it! I don't like it! You mustn't shout when you're doing EVPs, Joe. Chill, chill, pal, chill. I don't like it, man. Come on, Joey, let's go for walkabout. With activity detected, 
Geraint escorts everyone to the paranormal heart of the castle, the cellar. Right, Joey, follow me down. We're going to sit at this table. Yeah? Knock your lights off. Oh, my God. Joey's clearly nervous and bricking it. Sorry. No probs. Do you wish to communicate with us? Shit, something touched my leg. Oh, go away, man. I said, no, something did touch my leg. Sorry, but, sorry, but... sorry. Oh, man. Spirit of the cellar, man, if you're here, can you please give us a sign? Can you send the alarms off on the stairs? Are you in the cellar with us now? If so, I'm can you... A, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a funny feeling. Okay, he's in there, he's in there. I'm, I'm getting energy through my body now. OK. Go on, talk to him, Joey, talk to him. Silly man, do you want to play games? We need to, we need to turn the alarms off. Come on, please, man, I don't want to do this, man. I, don't want, I really don't want to do it. Relax. That's why you're here, remember? Yeah. yeah. You want the experience? Mm -hmm. We're giving you the experience. Sorry. Can you tap something for me, then? Can you do some sort of tapping noise? <laughs> Did you move a chair? Did you check? No, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, mate. With unexplained activity happening all around, Geraint guides them deeper into the castle vaults. Are there any other spirits down here with us? Oh, my God. Is that the cellar, man? Why, what, what's going on here, man? Come on, come on. It's a very strange feeling, don't you, isn't it, Joe? What's that? Is it walking upstairs, that is it? That's footsteps upstairs. It's going off again. Look, 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 look. I know. He's here with us now. Is the spirit of the little girl with us? Would you like to come and play games with us? Can you squeeze Joey's hand? Oh. What about that? I'm squeezing it. If you're in here you now, can you move something for me? Any of the spirits are here, can you move something for us? Just one more thing, move something. or make these lights... Oh, oh. that's better. Oh, draw. Can you light the lights up for me if you're the cellar man? Can you do that? Are you the cellar man? Just please tell us, are you the cellar man? If not, then go red now. It's not the cellar man. Mm. Oh, that's a very oh, high spike there, man. Are you a female? Fuck off! Don't panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! I'm getting out! I'm getting out! Please, guys, please follow me. Put the lights on now. What happened? I feel something. I'm hundred percent. I know. I feel something. Something grabbed my hand like that and pulled my hand, then went like that and pulled pulled my jumper. Fuck off! Don't panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! Did something grab you? I'm in shock. Yeah. Please. Shall we go for a break, Ken? Do you want to go for a break? I just want to, I'd, I'd rather to get out of here, man. OK, OK. Come on now. We'll go. We'll go up. We'll go Please. Up. I was over in the back bit and grabbed my back and he pulled, pulled my hand. I swear I felt it. Please, we go. Joey, still quivering in shock, is desperate to go back to the safety of Essex. Oh, I was petrified down there. It's a bit cold down there. I did... I've seen a ghost today. I just see something. I just yeah, see well, something. Right, right. I just no, see yeah, something. Oh, no, 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 no,
God. That is so dangerous, man. So come on, Joey. What have you learned? If you actually ever start to cross the river, don't take your man bag. Oh! Good tip. Anything else? I've learned one amazing thing about Wales, and this is probably the biggest thing that will go down history for Joey Essex's life, and that, that Wales is not in England. It's good, it's good. That's good technology. I mean, education. Oh, Joey. If I see a ghost, I won't start praying. I'll just look straight at it and say, 